right away I noticed that the rhythms needed to be enhanced. Just looked like a couple of wrestlers that were ready to attack us. Hi, Bob. Hey, Sandy. 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 Rob. Rob. Big guys. Big guys. So, uh, Ron, we should show them where yep. where they should set up. The Mud Men are a couple of bagpipers in a in a rock group, and uh, they were brought in to uh, play a little intro and the tag at the end of the song. I ooh. I've never done this before, Ron, so I'm thinking about this. Uh, let's just see what they come up with. All right. They were a great choice because it's not like if we had somebody that was too traditional, I think we would have freaked them out with what we were doing. I don't know how we got them, but I'm glad we did. We've made a statement here, and I think the bagpipes added to the statement, and certainly it is going to get noticed. Everything just gelled into this, this amazing song that uh, went way over my expectations. Hey! Well, really, it was, uh, I'm not going to word, uh, use the word Celtic because it was said so many cultural, times. Cultural. Uh, but <laughs> I, heard, uh, I don't know, I just went with what, uh, what was there, and... Uh, there was a feel there, and I tried to enhance it. The bagpipes, I think, work really nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, it sounds very Canadian to me. Yeah, I respect it. You ready to hear it? Absolutely. Here we go, the final version of Anthem Number 5. Hello, Canada and hockey fans of the United States and Newfoundland. Celtic, you weren't going to tell Sandy and Rob that it's not Celtic, no, were you? No, of course not. You talk about creepy and life-size. The Mudmen, we love them. Great job, Colin. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank this you. is a great one, too.